This memoir is more than an insider's account of a mid-80s Australian independent band. And so the chords are... It's a C. Easy. You know why I feel like that A minor seventh thing? Confessions of a Lighthouse Keeper provides multiple insights into the broader music and entertainment world. Do you make a living out of playing music? In a country that has mixed feelings about the arts. No. <laughs> How do you actually support yourself at the moment? Uh, well, the doll, <laughs> plus a, a bit of income from the bands. It's atmospheric. Light. Whatever that is and full of musings from others who have travelled this road over the last 50 years. Well, I'm John Paul Young and I'm in a show called Van Park. The Lighthouse Keepers are sentimental favourites amongst a generation who came of age in the inner cities of Sydney, Melbourne and Canberra during the 1980s. The book is written in an engaging style and features personal interviews, diary entries and writing contributions from other witnesses. But you're talking about 10 years of my life. Mm. So it was good and it was bad. Yeah. But I mean, mostly it was living the dream. Well, thanks so much for that. You actually did a really great job and I really enjoyed doing it and I really normally just hate them. All linked by Gregor Pell's, me, very personal text. After all, he has spent a fair part of his career linking the rantings and musings of Australia's entertainers in TV and radio programs. Oh, that was our tram. I wonder if those people are going to see Van Park tonight. The Lighthouse Keepers were a rather pathetic bunch. Always very nervous on stage, we'd look down a lot. We'd change instruments or tune unnecessarily. Anything but look at the audience. Juliet was our singer and perhaps as part of her stage persona, she might make eye contact with a few members of the audience. I think this was her ritual for overcoming fear. Dangerous, I thought, as I focused my eyes on some not very difficult chords. After six months, we were tired, and the close contact with each other was already wearing thin. Backstage, one of us was especially drunk. A litre of Coca-Cola for breakfast every morning. Always wanting to go to that party that was going to be really great and never quite finding it. The next song's called Yeah Yeah. 